<laughs> and I've thought about doing other other things in the industry. Uh -huh. um, yeah. But um, yeah, and I do know I do know some sound mixers that have directed. Um, right. And uh, I know um, uh, a very good friend, um, uh, uh, Mike Keo, uh, who's a craft service person. Great yeah. craft service. He 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 has written and directed three movies. Um, wow. And uh, you know, not not big movies, but uh, they've all gotten some showing, and they you know played at film festivals and, and all that. And he's actually a really good writer and a really good director, but he still works in craft service. Um, right. And um, uh, one of the things that happened in craft service is he made a lot of good connections with directors and producers and people right. like that because he he's really he's really an outgoing guy, uh, very funny. He's also very good at his job. He really takes care of the crew. Um, but, um, you know, I've thought about whether I could, you know, write something or direct or produce something. Um, uh, or uh, the logical thing to do would be what they used to refer to it as if you're a production sound person, you would end up uh, going inside, meaning that you go into post production. Right. Um, yeah. And I have done a fair amount of, uh, not a fair amount, I've done some. Uh, post-production work. Um, I've spent a lot of time with the people that are doing the post-production work because that's always been a big interest and importance to me. And also, I haven't been in the mode where I'm doing one production job right after another, except for certain periods of time when I really was getting off one job and going right on another, that I had the time. And I would go in to the picture editing, um, uh, you know, because I was usually pretty good friends with the picture editor anyway, even before starting the movie, because uh, it would be a movie that I, you know, I'd done three or four other movies with the same people. Um, I would go in and talk to the post people, maybe sit in on some of the dialogue pre-dubs and stuff like that. Um, but it was a luxury that a lot of production people that really need to work all the time and are, and are very busy and take, you know, they don't have any time because by the time the post is being done, they're already on to their next production job and they don't even have the time. But, uh, and I've never, I've never wanted to, to enter that world uh, and just declare that I'm a re-recording mixer because I would have to start out, obviously at a much lower level because I'm coming from being a production sound mixer. I couldn't just like waltz in and say, okay, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly equipped to uh, sit in front of this, you know, 160 input board and, uh, you know, and mix you know, 120 tracks of uh, uh, whatever for some big movie because, uh, you know, I'm, I could I could end up, if I wanted to, doing post work on some smaller projects. But I also think that that's not where my, you know, I could learn it, but I would have to start learning a lot of stuff that, that I don't know. 